Number 53. What is the atmospheric pressure on top of Mount Everest on a day when water boils there at a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius? All right. So basically, if we know the boiling point of water or the temperature at which water boils at, in this problem, they're telling us it's boiling at 70 uh, degrees Celsius. That also means we will know what the vapor, what the atmospheric pressure is at that particular point, right? At that particular altitude in this problem. And we're talking about the top of Mount Everest. So basically, if you know the temperature in which water boils, you will also know the atmospheric pressure. And we know that by just looking it up on a table, all right, for this class. I mean, there's ways to calculate it, but it's not going into that here. So you need to have this table handy that I have on the screen. And what you're going to do is look up 70 degrees Celsius. And you're going to find the corresponding pressure. Now, you'll see that it says vapor pressure. Uh, but it's the same thing as atmospheric pressure. Basically, whenever the vapor pressure of water equals the atmospheric pressure, uh, water will boil then at that given temperature. So essentially then, you know, simply here that atmospheric pressure here, atmospheric pressure will equal then 3.12 I don't know why this is lagging, 3.12 times 10 to the fourth. And that is in Pascal. That's it. Simple. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.